must be Michael Iceberg. And I'm pleased to announce all of my stuff is working. <laughs> now, uh, what you're seeing up here, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, as they always say around here, uh, what you're seeing up here, do not confuse this with something educational, something made up of the result of science or research and development. Because what you're seeing up here, this is the result of compulsive buying, boys and girls. I like to go to big music stores. I like to buy without thinking. Hook them all together, play them at the same time. Now what we have up here, ladies and gentlemen, basically class, we, we have two varieties of instruments up here. We have your electronic synthesizers, and of course we have your mechanical devices. <laughs> now synthesizers are of course a lot more advanced, technologically speaking, and there are several synthesizers up here. This is a synthesizer right here, knobs. You'll learn to recognize synthesizers with knobs. This is a synthesizer, this is the things covered with knobs. The rest of the iceberg machine has nothing to do with high-tech electronics. It's got to do with Huey Salvage in Durango, Colorado. I got a lot of stuff from basements and garages, sidewalk sales, flea markets. I got the 10-speed gear shifters from bikes, two of those. Got refrigerator pieces, solenoids from washing machines. And then I got pigs and eggs. <laughs> Wind and E flat. <laughs> Cows in B flat. <laughs> well, there goes a the B flat cow now. <laughs> Still living. Even a little B-flat major, cow in the rain. Or add the seventh, you get a train. The ninth, you get chicken. <laughs> and the little kids laughing and, and flowers singing and, and the reverend from Bourbon Street. And 13 years of piano lessons. Thanks, Ma. Thanks for all the lessons. Hey, let's play a song. I'm gonna play a song with notes and everything. This is a song came to me in a nightmare one evening. This is called The Little Piggy Hoedown. I, I just got to check out if everything is set right here because, you know, you got to set everything. I mean, this is not just, uh, okay, mixtures are the rich, the props are forward, the suction gauge is checked, three green lights, doors closed, boost pumps on, Little Piggy's Hoedown, take one. <laughs>
you something. I have no piano up here. I mean, no piano. And I mean, I'm a piano player, but I mean, I had a, you know, it's hard to carry a piano around. I'd always on a tune and stuff. And I got this new 360 thing. It's just crazy. I mean, this is a thing. It stores sounds on a computer. I've got a, a piano. I could sit in here and I'll play the piano for you now. Computers just have to be the answer because with computers now, now we can do some of the more more important works. Like, for instance, I've always wanted to play a little Boots Randolph, you know. I mean... So, I could do... song that I, is for my, I, I did it for my daughter, Wendy. This is for Wendy Iceberg. It's called Fanfare. <laughs>
to you here. I, I love California. I live in uh, Colorado out in the, in the boonies myself. And you, do you live in Colorado? Where? Boulder, nice place. I live in a place that has just a post office general store. It's not, I mean, you know, it's hidden. I like to go out there and ride bikes and stuff. You can tell I'm a bike rider just by looking at me, probably, I imagine. Um, and I like to write music out there and stuff like that. Of course, I have certain troubles, you know. I mean, I have a companion that travels around the country with me, and you just can't get your dog in this place real easy, you know. I mean, and, and I finally had a resort to getting my, putting my dog, I have Benny the dog. I put him on a chip. I got Benny the dog now in G. Ben? <coughs> And I got cats in G-sharp, uh, even though I don't like them. So I can make it rain cats and dogs now whenever I want. Let's squeeze the cat a little up there, please. <laughs> good, good. Squeeze him again. Angry crowd in D. Oh, I love a good boo like that. You know, these days you don't hear a good boo anymore. You know? What? Are you from Chicago? Come on, everybody, give me a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, everybody, 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 everybody. You're, giving me a tear. You're giving me a tear in the eye. I'm getting homesick for Chicago. I grew up with booing. I grew up on the north side of Chicago, very close to Wrigley Field. Believe it or not, the Chicago Cubs and the Chicago Bears both play in the same field. I've been booing since I was just a youngster, but I'm available now for your wedding and bar mitzvah booing. <laughs> Maybe even show up at your house with all this stuff. Oh, here's Mr. Iceberg now. <laughs> now, of course, I got all your regulation snores and B. And your lady laughing in C. <laughs> Shut Now, if you take your little finger and push the lady, she'll laugh for you. Of course, man laughing in C sharp. Uh. It's time to play the robot song, Song for Dancing Robots. This is a song about robots that get out of line. And you know, robots have been known to get into extreme difficulty sometimes when left alone. This is a song about robots dancing and cavorting and, and, and doing things that robots may not always do. Stuff. So, uh, anyway, this is a song I wrote called The Robot Revolt.
since childhood, I've had intense desires to play instruments that these synthesizers are not capable of. And you could make millions of sounds with a synthesizer. Two million sounds. Three. I don't know how many sounds. It just turns out, with all those million different sounds that synthesizers could synthesize, wouldn't you know, not one of those sounds is violins. And since childhood, I've had intense desires to play violins on the keyboard. And I've had to resort to silliness. First gear, the right side, the left channel, the first floor. May I have the first floor, please? I'm going to play the keyboard. And if everything's set right, I'll play the keyboard. Violins will come out. Otherwise, it's going to be another embarrassing moment. <laughs> this song for its affiliation with the Lone Ranger, and of course it is the theme song of the Lone Ranger. For those of you who are into more serious music, I think you'll recognize this also. This is, of course, the overture to the Lone Ranger.
this is another show tonight, I think. K-E-Y. Why? Because it's my job. <laughs>